Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, I will present our paper titled Combined Supplementation of Vitamin and Vitamin C Improves the Performance of Wild Rice in the Tropics with Reduced Floor Space. My name is Adira Trianto from Department of Animal Science, Universitas 11 Maret. Reducing floor space by increasing the number of wild can intensify poultry production. However, the high wild density due to reduced floor space increases heat accumulation and humidity inside the cage and decreases laying performance. This condition is worsened by high ambient temperatures, which reduces birds' ability to dissipate body heat. To cope with this challenge, Reducing floor space can be combined with specific with additive inclusion. Betain is an organic osmolite and has been shown to alleviate heat stress in poultry. It accumulates in cells and organelles exposed to osmotic disturbances and displaces organic ions, thus allowing cells to survive. Betain also stabilizes the intestinal cell structure and promotes intestinal cell microbes to optimize nutrient digestion. Furthermore, vitamin C has an anti-stress effect and is particularly necessary for the diet during high temperatures, since vitamin C level in the blood decreases during high temperatures. Vitamin C also improves the immune status of the poultry. Although put vitamin and vitamin C as single feed additives positively impact the laying performance of wild, the combined supplementation of these two additives has not been studied yet in quail. Therefore, the objective of this study was to determine the effect of combined supplementation of vitamin and vitamin C in reduced floor space on the laying performance of wild. Materials and methods. In total, 256 female lying quail, 23 weeks of each, were arranged in a completely randomized design of factorial 2 times 2 with 4 replicates. The birds were allocated to 16 cages with 2 floor spaces, constituted of 250 cm square and 222 centimeter square corresponding to 15 and 17 quails per cage respectively with a cage size of 0 0.375 meter square. They were fed a diet without or with supplementation of 0.12% betaine in combination with 250 milligram per kilogram of vitamin C. The basal diet was composed mainly of corn and soybean meal and was formatted to meet the requirement of laying quail with 18% crude protein and 2,800 kilocalorie per kilogram metabolizable energy as shown in table 1. The treatment lasted for two periods of 28 days each. The feed intake and production and weight were recorded daily. The feed conversion was obtained by measuring the ratio of feed intake to egg mass. Egg mass was calculated as egg production percentage by an egg weight, indicating egg weight resulted by a bird in a day. Furthermore, the protein efficiency ratio was calculated as gram of egg mass per gram of protein intake, while the energy efficiency ratio was calculated as grams of egg mass per 100 kilocalorie of energy intake. Data analysis. The data was submitted to analysis of variance. The statically different means were compared using Duncan's test. All the statical analysis were performed using R. Result. The laying performance of whales can be seen in table 2. 
interaction of food in egg production and egg mass, reducing the floor space to 222 cm square without vitamin and vitamin C supplementation, decreased egg production and egg mass, but on the contrary, enhanced egg production and egg mass when supplemented with vitamin and vitamin C. The disadvantageous effect of low floor space might be attributed to the overcrowding, reduced air quality, increased ammonia, and modification of resting behavior due to disruption from other birds. Furthermore, the findings of this study revealed that vitamin and vitamin C was effective in enhancing quail's performance regardless of floor space. The highest egg production was obtained in 222 cm square for space supplemented with beta and vitamin C, indicating the optimum condition for laying quail. This finding indicated that the beneficial effect of dietary beta and vitamin C. No interaction was observed between beta and and vitamin C supplementation and floor space on nutrient efficiency of quails as presented in table 3. Reducing floor space did not affect the nutrition efficiency which agreed with the response of laying performance in this study. Supplementation of vitamin and vitamin C reduced with conversion and enhanced protein efficiency ratio and energy efficiency ratio with a grid with the laying performance improvement in this study as mentioned previously. This finding demonstrated the positive impact of beta in and vitamin C on nutrient efficiency. In conclusion, the present study demonstrated that frost space of 222 cm square was optimal for laying quail in the hot environment of a tropical climate, provided the bird received combined supplementation of betaine and vitamin C. The low floor space without combined supplementation of betaine and vitamin C showed the lowest egg production and egg mass. On the contrary, the low floor space Supplemented with a combination of betaine and vitamin C showed the highest egg production mass. Combined supplementation of betaine and vitamin C effectively enhanced quail's performance regardless of floor space. That was my presentation. Thank you.